morning, everyone. Welcome to Toad TV. I am Mary Beth. I am Helen. We are the creative hands and minds behind Toad Hollow. And behind us today is the angel face quilt that I made out of the Calendar Girls project, or the Calendar Girls fabric, um, that is still not quilted. Just We're getting there. Top. We're gonna However, have the pieces in place. It's so pretty. It is. Helen hung it up and I'm like, oh my God, I need to quilt that because <laughs> it's such a pretty quilt. It should not be folded up in a pile waiting to be finished. Right. But as Helen said, we are getting the pieces like a sewing table that's wide enough that I can actually quilt. Right. Very exciting. Yes. All right. Okay, so today is Monday, July, June. June, it's still June. Stop putting us into a new month, Mary Beth. That's ridiculous. It is June 27th. June 27th. Yes. June 27th. How many times can we say June 27th? Anyway, welcome. Yeah, we did the I'm Mary Beth and you're Helen. Yeah. Oh my goodness. It's Monday. We have a case of the Mondays. Can you hear Hugo in the backyard? We're like as far away from him as we possibly can be and you can still hear him. Yeah, he, they're doing work at one of the houses, catty corner to us, and he is supervising at the moment. They're um, doing it overall. They're taking down a tree and he the is guy big is, into the ecosystem. The guy that's taking down the tree, you know, usually you have goggles and everything. He's got a motorcycle helmet. <laughs> He's like full on protection of the face very good safety first anyway he's got a chainsaw and he's taking down a tree which is just wrong we my heart is crying a little bit we don't have enough of those down here right so anyway but. not my yard can't do anything about it okay so what do we have to talk about uh we have a couple of projects we have a new kit that we're coming out with um should we start with that yeah okay so uh, we are starting to put together and come up with ideas for kits for the fall shows, uh, starting with New Jersey Sheep and Wool. And uh, as we finish projects and decide that, yes, that's a good kit, we will put them up on the website. And uh, this is just going to be- A super secret project. Right, this is- <laughs> That she's been working on for weeks. Um, and I've been documenting my progress over on Patreon, so our patrons uh, already know that this exists and that it's done. Um, but this is to show that, yes, in fact, I am a master crocheter. Not a master crochet man. A net master crocheter. You are the crochet master. I am the crochet master. The crochet master. Okay. Because sprouting to you fully formed. <laughs> kind of like Athena from Zeus's Day. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. This is the Lost in Time Shawl. It's a free pattern on Ravelry and other uh, on the designer's website. It's Miho Crochet. Right. Um, and I will link to the pattern uh, in the show notes down below. It is such a fun pattern. It is a sampler because you learn all the stitches as you go along. My biggest problem, as I documented on Patreon, was uh, keeping my center spine. Um, and I finally, after having to rip something out, came up with, oh, I took it out because it's all blocked. Uh, the brilliant plan of putting a stitch marker in my center stitch so that I always knew that that was the one that I had to go around. Um, but. Oh my God, you outdid yourself. So I went through and I just picked out colors that, you know, spoke to my heart. Um, and we have a kit now available in the shop. And what you get is you're gonna get six 50 gram skeins of the main colors in the shawl and two 20 gram skeins of uh, the Naked as a Jaybird, which is just this one stripe coming through here of the white. And then duckling. Uh, it's the snuggly duckling, right? Yeah. Uh, is the yellow shell here in the border. So you just need a 20 gram skein for that. Um, but I used this, the green is acorn, the blue is, um, that Alice. was from, from our Lost Words collection. Right. The blue is Alice from our Alice collection. Uh, the peach is that'll do pig, which has been around. Or some pig. Some pig. I'm pretty sure we've done it under both, but I'm pretty right. sure it's some pig right now. Oh, right, for Charlotte. Um, and the orange is the orange blossom macaron from Paris. Paris. Pink is raspberry macaron from Paris. And the purple is the blackberry macaron from Paris. I adore the colors. I adore the shawl. 
So for those of you that have been with us for a while, this is Helen's second Lawson in Time that she did. You did one quite a few years ago. And, and I used I used uh, somebody else's yarn because okay. it was before we were really dying yarn ourselves. Um, and then we did put together kits from some Outlander colors that we mm -hmm. had. Um, but the first time I did it, I did it to pattern. Um, and it was kind of small. So this time I added a full repeat of the pattern um, to the shawl so that I could get a nice bigger wearable shawl. So the kit, if you decide to get the kit, will give you enough yarn to do to the do, bigger. Right. And the kit comes with a color guide to show you per row what I used. You can do whatever you want with the colors in the kit, but if you want to do it exactly as I did it, I will give you the key to do that. So. This is just absolutely stunning. And I will say that I joke when I say I'm the master crocheter, because I'm not. Um, her pattern is fantastic, because when I didn't crochet this for the first time, it was the first shawl I had ever crocheted. All I had ever really done before was chain stitches and that kind of thing, and, you know, single crochets. I figured my way through it. Um, and you enjoyed it. And it I wasn't so it. much that you figured, you really enjoyed doing yeah. it, even the first time. Yeah. Um, and it comes up together fairly quickly. I did this in just a couple weeks. I know. Um, and it wasn't like I was going full time at it. Uh, so it's just, and it's so pretty. Oh my gosh, it's just it is so just beautiful. Lost in time is really what it is. <laughs> yeah. Um, so there you get the border because the yellow comes in the border only. So I know you said that you wanted to do another one in the... Um, the uh, Enchanted Forest colors, but she has another one, the Garden Path or something like that. Would you want to do that in the I can, I, I can look Enchanted at it, yeah. Forest? It was just, you know, to do one of these in the darker colors, but I, I, I mean, Lord knows I've gotten plenty to do right now. Oh, no, 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 the, uh, just taking one of her yeah. other patterns because her patterns are so beautiful. Yeah, they are. And having two yeah. different ones available. So, Lost in Time, Shaw, for all you crocheters, My little work of art. Yeah. This is my favorite. You put green and purple together. Always. Green and purple yep. together. Always. Also, the some pig and Alice here in this section is just so pretty. It's spectacular. Yeah. It really is. So these will now, the kits will be in the, uh, available at the shows, um, but also on our website. Excellent. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. We will be, um, if you order them now, it's kind of like a pre-order. It's going to be like a couple weeks because we're going to, uh, we've ordered the, the 50 gram skeins to dye up and we'll dye them up over the next couple weeks. Right. And get them ready to go. Oh. oh. Loverly. Yeah, really. Loverly. Yeah. Okay. And thanks to everybody on Patreon who uh, followed along and encouraged me yeah. as I went through. So. You may go. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, I am going to show you my progress on the Helen Stort Mystery Knit Along. Are you laughing already? I am. Here's the Helen Stark Mystery Knit Along. She finished. You may notice that it's missing something rather key, such as needles. <laughs> the past couple of days, I have been um, doing some soul searching and thinking, um, I do not like circle shawls. I don't know why I decided to do this other than I was totally under the spell of Helen Stork and I love her patterns. Um, FOMO is real, people. It really is. Uh, what I do love working on this is working with the yarn. I absolutely love this yarn so much. So I decided that I'm going to make something that I actually am going to use and enjoy wearing rather than something that I'm going to look at and say either it's just a shop sample or I should wear that but I don't know how to style it, that kind of thing. So I decided I'm going to make a sweater instead. Um, because, you know, I'm so good at starting and finishing those. Um, so what I am doing is I am doing the Shaved Ice Sweater by Casapinka. Again, 
FOMO. It just came out. I got an email. I'm like, oh, I have to make that. <laughs> and I'm making it in the um, Enchanted Forest collection. I have cast on. I did this last night. I took out the needles and started casting on. Um, I have already finished the ribbing. It's five rows, but, you know, I'm going to say that I've finished the ribbing already <laughs> and am six rows into the pattern. So this is how far I am right now. This is the Ents. I will put a picture in of the, uh, from the pattern of the finished sweater in case you don't know which one it is. Um, so we don't have to deal with the Here, I can glare. Up. Okay. Cause I don't think the glare is going to be too bad. Hi. Yeah. Do you think your, your public needs to see you? Okay. Yeah. That is what the sweater looks like. Okay. Starts at the bottom and goes up. So I am going to do it using the same four colors of the Enchanted Forest. I'm going to do the Ents, then I'm going to go into Magic Mushroom, then the Guardian of the Forest, and wind up with Thorny Bushes, which will be the big piece around the top. Um, I have started so many Casapinka projects. I'm pretty sure I have finished none of them. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I haven't finished a single one. However, we have had samplers finished, but. Yeah, I'm going to finish this one. I'm going to do it, really. I'm enjoying it. Right now, yeah. I'm really enjoying it. The gauntlet it. has been thrown down. Right. The podcast will hold Mary Beth accountable. Accountable. Um, I really, really am enjoying knitting it right now so that um, hopefully it will continue. After 24 hours, <laughs> love it. I absolutely love it. We shall see. Anyway, uh, so that's where I am right now, but um, yes love the colors and I love Helen Stewart's patterns. It's just, I don't like circle shawls and I should have, I knew what shape it was before we started. I should have just said, no, you don't need to do it, but. It's actually a half circle. I gave in. So. Yeah. It's a half circle. It's a good thing I'm not teaching kindergarten right now because not knowing the difference between circle and half circle would be a problem, right Dudley? Okay. Well, it's just for people who are knitting it going, I thought it was only a half circle. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What did I get into? So, uh, Mary Beth, you know, started working on a sweater that, and I'm like, I want to knit that sweater in, I want to knit it in the Atlantis colors. Um, and I haven't knit in a long time because I've been working on the Lost in Time shawl and then the uh, crochet along that we're doing. So, okay, Dudley has now ripped both of us to shreds, has been banished. Um, he's in a box on his way to you, Lisa. <laughs> okay. I, so I pulled out a project that I have been working on for a while now. Um, it's the City Limits sweater by Tannis Lavely. Um, it's a fade sweater, so you pick um, however many colors you want to work with. In fingering, you hold fingering double so that when you actually start to fade, uh, when you get to your next color you hold a strand of the prior color and the new color together for a section and then work into the new color so that it's a, a full fade so this is curious George on top then I'm working into Michaelmas fairy I adore curious George and Michaelmas yeah. fairy together that is so beautiful and then I did the Michaelmas and now I'm working Michaelmas and James and the giant peach together because what I did was I just went and found random skeins that we have that I figured would go together that were just random skeins left. Um, so that I'm doing James and the Giant Peach and Michaelmas together right now. I've got just a couple more rows of that and then I go right into James all together. But look at them, we're all together, oh my God. Honestly, orange and purple together, it's not showing up as well on right. the camera. It may show up on the screen, but oh. It is so pretty. So, so pretty. And then, this is like the sky at sunset. Yes. Uh, so then I will go with James. So this is James, giant peach. And then I'm going to go into autumn at the hollow. And I'm going to end up with willow fairy. So that is going to be. Can we just say, oh my God, my fade. 
Oh my God. So I'm working uh, now down towards the waist shaping. I do that and then it's just straight knitting until I get to the end. She gives you the option of either doing a ribbed uh, at the end or an I-cord bind off. I think I'm gonna go with the I-cord bind off just as something new because all my sweaters mostly that I've knit are the rib. Right. Um, and it looks really nice on her just having it hang and right. Of gather. Right, 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 yeah. Um, so that is what the plan is. What I'm going to do with the sleeves, I'm not quite sure yet. I'm almost out of uh, Michaelmas, so, but it's already been worked in with the cap, sleeve cap, so I don't really have to worry about that so much. Um, I have a lot of Curious George left. So my sleeves may just be Curious George, depending on what I have left when I'm done. Right. It's kind of a, a patchwork deal. It's beautiful. But for straight potato chippy watching a movie oh, knitting, yeah. it's perfect. Um, so. And I just love the color so much. It's beautiful. It is just stunning. That was what I picked up yesterday. Look at you going all blendy. Yeah. <laughs> All right, oh, that's gorgeous. Yeah. All right. Well, and I have it in my prototype kit bag. There you go. The whales. I have to skein up my next piece to go with James. Okay. All right, I have one more project. We sadly are going back to work this week. Sadly, sadly, sadly. Um, so I wanted to finish up at least one more of the projects we had laid out for ourselves for our staycation. I'm still working on mine. Um, this is the um, ultimate art project. Ultimate art organizer. Okay. This is the ultimate art organizer by So Sweetness. It is, it's got three different zippers. So three different pouches. I'm using uh, a new to us fabric line that's gonna be hitting the website soon. Um, and open it up. Look, pens. Pens, 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 pens. So this, I, uh, when I made it, I was doing it for my, all my supplies for my blackout journal. So you get a couple, zippered pockets. I haven't really put anything in them yet. Um, you get the mesh pocket. And then more pens. This, this is an intermediate project. There are a lot of zippers. There are a lot of curved edges. Um, we are finding that putting zippers into curved edges is not as easy as it looks, and it Especially doesn't look easy. Side by side. Mm. Um, there, were, there were a couple bad words said. Um, putting in the elastic, not hard, time consuming, fiddly. Um, the pattern calls for you to do two rows per page of the elastic to catch the top and the bottom of the pens. Um, I did that once. And then we're like, why are we doing that? They stay in just fine with one. <laughs> but that didn't come from there. That came from the pocket. Oh, okay. okay. So okay. none of them fell out. <laughs> um, so we decided to go with just one. Um, I will do it again because I do like having the finished product and I have, I have pens. Um, Lord knows we have pens. <laughs> um, we have our distress markers from Tim Holtz that would go great in these. So they're great organizers. Um, never one that we would put together to sell. Yeah, that's, um, it's, it's just, it's too fiddly. Unless we get unless, to a point where we're really, really fast at it. Right. The first um, time, surprisingly enough, it's taking us quite a little bit of time. So labor is $700. I was say, unless you want to pay $500 for your art organizer. <laughs> but um, as we do more of them, it will get easier and faster. But it takes a lot of little pieces because there's um, 
several different types of interfacing because you've got the Sawson right. stable and then you've got the uh, thick interfacing, uh, all the zippers, the elastic. Um, and again, it's just a fiddly sewing project. I recommend it. The pattern is well done, uh, well written. Oh yeah, the pattern is really, um, really good and easy to follow. The only thing I have is that by putting in the two zippers, this page got uh, shrunk a little bit, this piece of fabric. So that matching it to the zipper was really a stretch. So that going forward, I would make this page a little bit bigger, allowing for the shrinkage of putting in the zippers. Um, but everything else she kind of accounted for, it was just, um, it's an intermediate project. Right, so. yeah, no, we, there are a couple of things um, that we said that we would change just from having made lots and lots of bags and right. going at it that we know that we could rather than cutting out the template and measuring around the template, start by an eight and a half by 10 page and, and round then off the corners. round off the corners to make it work, you know, that kind of thing. So, cause that um, would also cut down on time as far as cutting the fabrics, right? Cutting the fabrics takes forever cause you have to kind of cut them with scissors. You can't just do a zip zip rotary cutters. Right. Um, so, so yeah, there are things in the, and, the more you do these kind of patterns, the more things you realize, oh, I could do this instead and right. make it so much easier. Right. Um, just having had several years of sewing and bag making behind us that we can draw upon. Right. Um, but again, first time, it's beautiful. Yes. It's fantastic. And it's really, really useful. Yes, so very that, useful. Because um, I, I finished it uh, Saturday and then yesterday I was working in my journal and I'm like, instead of going, you know, from one box of pens to another box of pens, it's just like, oh, right here, I want my paint pens. They're right here. Right. My sparkles are over here. Um, it makes everything very, very yeah. nice. So when it's the ultimate art organizer, it's not a lie. Right. It really is. Right. And this is the large size because you can do a mini size as well. But we decided to go with the large. Okay. All right. Ultimate art organizer. There you go. I will show mine once I finish. Right. Okay. That might be it. All right, I think we are pretty much done. Agatha Christie is shipping tomorrow, so that will be coming out to you, anybody who bought it, that you should be getting your shipping notification tomorrow. If you did not get yours yet, uh, I think we have three or four yeah. maybe left, so uh, if you wanted one and you didn't get it yet, now's the time. Also, um, the Dragonfly is going to be shipping at the end of the week. So um, we are going to be putting together all the bits and pieces and packing it up and getting right. that out to you. We're very excited about that. So that will be coming to you shortly. I have such a cool project planned. I can't wait. For okay. My okay. And then we are going to, um, coming up within the next week and a half or so, we're gonna let you know what the next animal guide box is. Right. Because that's gonna be coming up soon too. Okay, so we hope you guys have a wonderful week. Go forth and create. And we will see you soon. Bye. Bye.